guys hope you guys are having fun out there i've actually missed you guys so let's go straight to the point here weekly forex market analysis with millennia logistics okay in this video actually we're going to be looking at the previous analysis we shared that's the odd usd um pair and we're also going to be sharing some things here and some information as regards how the trade perform and how we actually were able to do um the odd usd trade right and we're also going to share some challenging factors that we faced i personally i faced on the trade right while the trade was on and also guys have missed you guys honestly i have missed you guys so i think all the usd analysis was the is the last analysis we've actually shared on the channel right so as always i'm going to be sharing with you some fundamental factors and analysis the top down analysis and breakdown of how we analyze the odd usd once again and then you're going to be seeing here the results right of the odd usd trade and right here we're about reaching the point where we expected the price to get to you know before we uh, you know close the trade actually right and some of us may have already closed this trade like i myself i closed this trade long enough because um i've actually been off the charts for quite some time you know i've just been managing this trade and actually learning some other things which i will be sharing with you guys as we move on okay so as always guys let's do this okay for all the usd guys you can check how we share the analysis right on the top screen there but then on the weekly chart here what we noticed was that the price was actually making some move here after this double um bottom pattern here right the w as you can see the w pattern right and the price actually went up to the upside right and what we noticed here was that okay fine this price was supposed to react somewhere around here right somewhere around here let me highlight this a little okay this price was actually maybe supposed to react somewhere around here right because um it's safe to say that kind of smart kind of smart money um pattern entering this market at this point now this is a weekly chart not to forget so but the price was actually maybe supposed to come right here and then maybe come to react around this point you know and break forward but then the price actually broke above this level right and that's smart money on the move right okay so what we noticed was that the price was actually overbought, right? So the price being overbought, guys, we noticed this move here. You know, this very much rejection from this side, very much rejection on this price. So I shared with you how, like, okay, fine, this is our daily supply zone, right? On this level, that's what we shared with you. So if we go on to the daily chart, perhaps you're going to see it better, right? Okay, shared with you somewhere around here that this is the daily supply zone because right here we can also see some smart money move because you can see some reaction some rejection right here that the price actually rejected here followed by a bearish day right confirming this so maybe moving forward i told you that the next thing that we may be looking for this chart if is the if the price come back to this level you should be watching to actually initiate a sell around this area somewhere around here to look for sell you know signals to bring this price further downwards because all the SD at the moment may likely find its way. You can see this candle for me here. May likely find its way to the upside to actually mitigate this unmitigated zone here, right? Okay, so let me go on back to the weekly chart. So from the analysis we shared, right, the price was actually overbought from this zone. And then permit me to remove this. And then we shared with you that we, we shared in the analysis that this was a daily supply zone, and that by the time we open to the new week, that we're gonna have a full week of price action down here right and then the price will actually find its way to the downside but let's break down let's break down let me add something let me add a, a ruler kind of so we can okay let me add this right so we can mark this area to see now we are analyzing the trade in proper right okay so let's go on to the four hour and see how this trade performed on the four hour time frame okay okay so we're expecting this price to move forward i think this was where the trade started this was where the trade started now guys this is something this is some mistake that we may all of us including myself may actually make right this is one mistake that we may actually make so this was the previous monday right this was where the market opened right on the monday so it's the okay this was where the market actually opened on yeah the market actually opened here right and then normally i'm the kind of trader that does the set and forget so i actually enter a position and i let the position play right 
I'm not a scalper, right? So on Monday, we may want to enter this market, right? Because what we share in the analysis was that there was a zone somewhere around here. There was a, a one hour kind of supply zone formed here, right? And we'll be looking at that one hour supply zone to actually initiate our sell trade, right? Okay, so what we pretty well noticed was that the price at this point, right, 11th, went really at that zone, right? It was coming downwards and normally we want to actually take advantage of a sell trade seeing that the price is actually coming down. But as you know, the market will not just, you know, just come down in one direction. You have, there's every high probability that the market will move up and down, right? So this was the zone. This was the one hour supply zone very much respected here that the price actually came here, came here, was actually breaking out and then it formed this kind of weakness, right? You can see here that this was signified by a doji, right? A doji candle on the four hour, four hour doji candle. So if we had entered here, maybe when the price ignorantly entered here, set a stop loss at this level, we would actually get this profit, maybe market playing with our emotions a little bit, right? and price will actually come downwards right to our uh, um, reference zone so what do we have here guys okay so if i'm to use this let me know rush guys okay so like i said millionaire logistics channel weekly forex market analysis right here we are just analyzing our previous analysis on the old usd pair because our weekly forex market analysis that we shared somewhere around um I think on the on the 10th on the 8th of april yeah i mean we've gone a long way man we've gone a long way okay on the 10th of april where we shared this analysis right so without wasting much of your time let's see how this trade actually played out so for the trade you can see all the usd the price was able to fall down to this level where we're expecting it to fall now this is the weekly chart guys and this is where we expected the price to actually come down to at least we've had you know quite a run over 100 pips right in the movement but then don't be dismayed because in the coming week we're actually um looking at the usd card pair where we share some insight on the usd card and our weekly forex market analysis should it play out so maybe tomorrow or before the week runs out we're going to be sharing the usd card analysis guys okay so uh we're going to dive into the usd card chart right now let me see just give us a picture of what we're looking at and should it play okay so here we are on the usd card um initially we've shared a long time ago we shared analysis and on the usd card a sell signal right where we saw the price actually broke and closed below our moving average and we said the price is actually going to come into this demand zone right and guess what the price actually got closed right to it before this movement right okay so right here what we notice is this this is the weekly chart okay so what we can see is that the price is actually making its way to the upside 